So guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the brand new 87 rated Lucas Moura Shape Shifter item. This is a brand new promo to FIFA Ultimate Team and essentially the uh, thing behind it is the fact that everyone in the promo has a different position change card. Also, some of them have also got different work rates too, which is definitely um, interesting. Uh, nonetheless, the promo actually features some really nice looking cards in terms of stats, but uh, the card design is a bit questionable in my opinion now the actual backing of the card the green bit I think that's really good but the red text for me it just doesn't work what do you guys make of the card design let me know in the comments section down below also in the comments let me know which other players from this promo you'd like to see me do a video on now the reason I'm beginning with Lucas today is because in FIFA 20 Lucas's non inform item was or is incredibly good it's a very overpowered item and at the start of the game it was a very effective card and it still can be quite effective in teams at this stage of the game as well so i'm hoping this uh, boosted version of lucas is also going to be really really good in games so uh let's have a look at this item shall we and um, he's got a four star weak foot and forced wait 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 now that's interesting i forgot about that and um, some of these cards have also been given um, different like skill moves, weak foot, etc. This guy's preferred foot has changed. His non-inform item is right-footed, but this shapeshifter item is left-footed. So, uh, okay, that that's interesting. He's left-footed on the right side, but luckily he's got a four-star weak foot. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's mad. Anyway, let's move on in to uh, the in-game attributes of this card because he's got some really nice ones that we should probably um, discuss. 99 acceleration, fantastic to see. Also 92 sprint speed as well, so it should be pretty quick in-game, as you'd expect. Um, his shooting stats are also really nice too. He's got 89 ratings for attack positioning, finishing and shot power. So with the dead eye chem style that we're using, he's going to have uh, 99 ratings for the top two of them, which is very nice. Um, his passing attributes also look relatively solid too. They're also going to be boosted by our chem style. Dribble department looks fantastic 99 agility on this item is very good to see as is the 98 balance and the 94 in game dribbling rating and finally physically how is this guy it's good to see it's got 99 jumping although we'll probably won't get too much use out of it the 84 stamina i don't think is very good for a winger so i'm a bit worried about that especially considering how much we're going to be sprinting with this guy and um, he's got good aggression though which is nice but um his stamina uh, his strength sorry is pretty average so uh overall the card looks pretty good but there are a couple of negatives which i can point out rather instantly and uh yeah it, the, the preferred foot thing is is very interesting uh we'll see how that affects him in game hopefully not too much with the good weak foot anyway i've rambled on for long enough let's get into some matches and let's see how we get on with this lucas item okay so in the debut of this shapeshifter uh, lucas we have come up against a full premier league side which actually features um one of the other shapeshifter cards he has the cdm david Luiz. alexander arnold plays the ball down the wing can lucas get on the end of this he actually can he's up against robertson who's done well can we get the ball inside not quite robertson shows good strength and just Gives Lucas a nudge off the ball. Shot from the corner. Here he is. We're going to go on that left foot because that's now his strong foot. Which, by the way, is really strange. <laughs> it just feels weird because in my head he's still a right-footed player. But uh, I've got to get used to the fact that he's now obviously a left-footer. Tune it to break now. With Lucas, who has absolutely mad acceleration. He's got enough pace to get around David Luiz here, has he? David Luiz coming across and... Oh, Lucas has retained the ball. Can we keep it in? We can. Nice cross into the box and, oh, Martinelli got his head to it, but unfortunately the header could not get past the first defender. Opportunity. Martinelli gets the ball out wide to Lucas. He's going to come inside. And come inside again. Gets the ball across the box. Chance for Aubameyang. Oh, just didn't quite go through the Hayes legs. Still got the ball. Chance to finesse. Left foot. And that's in. Get a goal just literally on the stroke of half time. Well, there's the whistle for the half-time break. Um, not the most entertaining first half, to be honest, but um, hopefully we can uh, see more action in the second half. My opponents actually had like much more possession than me, but um, it's been me that's had the chances. We just need to uh, make sure we take them. Lucas, oh, ball roll past Davison Sanchez. Can I get round him? Shot a goal! Could save the hair. Oh, great play. Oh, Sanchez just got to it before Lucas pulled the trigger. Oh, Lucas has nabbed it off the defender. Gonna try and pull it back. Go for the finesse, and that's game over. That was a really nice whipped finesse as well. Big mistake from my opponent. We took full advantage. And uh, I hopefully won't be blowing a 2-0 lead in the next 10 FIFA minutes. 
Well, there is full time. We do record ourselves a nice 2 0 win in this game. Um, I say nice, it was a pretty horrible game of FIFA to be honest, but uh, fortunately we got the job done thanks to two goals from the Brazilian Lucas Moura. The next team we face looks like this, a um, couple of players not on full chem but uh, still a very dangerous side, I hate playing against that headline as a dama, it just, it just always absolutely destroys my defence. Nice bit of play to get us out of trouble there, Lucas has he's done really well there to keep possession of the ball. And we might actually get a goal off this. Oh, we have. Very fortunate, but we got it. Bamiang flicks the ball over the top. Oh, how has Lucas just flawed PK? That makes zero sense at all, but um, it just happened. Lucas now with an opportunity to whip it in. Nice curling cross on his left foot. The header. Chance for Martinelli. Oh, just maybe shouldn't have gone for it the first time there. De Piera puts the ball out wide. And that's a great first touch from Lucas, who's now got a lot of space to run into. The Dama Traore coming across, we're going to go for the finesse shot, but unfortunately, blocked by PK. I thought I'd go for it with it almost being half time, but uh, it just wasn't to be. So at the break, uh, we have ourselves a actually pretty comfortable three goal lead. Now, um, I have to say, the scoreline might be a bit misleading. My opponents had a lot of possession, but um, once again, we have just been the more clinical of the two sides. And... Uh, We've got the goals when the chances have come, so hopefully we can uh, maybe force a rage quit in at this second 45. Martinelli finds Lucas, who somehow gets to that. And now there might be a chance because there's a big space there for Lucas to run through. We're going to go for the chip and hopefully it's on target. And it is. And that will more than certainly be game over. Left-footed chip from the newly left-footed Lucas Moura. Surely seals the win. And there's full time. And um, the game ends in a 4-1 scoreline. Second half was much tighter uh, than the first half, but um, we got the job done. Uh, Lucas Murray got himself a goal in this game and was also involved in one or two of the others, which was nice. Um, in like the intro to this video, I was I, I mentioned about the stamina potentially being a problem for this card. I have to say, it actually wasn't that bad in game. So uh, yeah, I, I take back my uh, comment that I made in the intro. So after a couple more matches, I went to go sell my Lucas like I normally do after my reviews. Um, I paid 650k for him and he's now 480k so uh, I have made a very nice loss on this card so if you guys could leave like rating on this video that would be very much appreciated so uh, yeah let's get into uh, the summary of this card shall we um, how was this card in game um, it was a decent item to be honest um, I did enjoy using it but I have to say at first it really did take like a game or two to actually um, start getting the best out of this card I won't lie the uh, preferred foot swap like it, it gets you off guard a bit because I'm so used to using Lucas as a right footer in my head I'm assuming he's a right footer but he's not he's now a left footer so it, uh, it took me a game or two to actually get used to that if I'm being honest but I uh, once got used to it and um, I actually found this guy's left foot to be pretty good especially for finesse shots and um, pace wise the guy's absolutely brilliant very quick in game and off the mark uh, really really quick so that is obviously very nice and on the counter attack this guy can be absolutely deadly I also thought he made some really good attacking runs when I played him in a central role. When I played him on the wing, didn't see too much from his run making, but when I put him at cam, I thought his run making was absolutely excellent, to be honest. And I also thought his finishing was very good off that left foot too, so uh, the guy can definitely put the ball in the back of the net, which is pleasing. Um, his passing though, I thought was... It was alright, but it definitely wasn't anything special. For an attacking player, it was pretty average, to be honest. I definitely did expect more in that department, um, to be uh, fair. Uh, but his dribbling, I thought that was great. Very good agility on this card, and he's just very fun to just have in possession of the ball. He's got a really good first touch, and uh, when in space, the guy feels very good in possession of the football. And even when taking on defenders, uh, he feels uh, really good too. Uh, finally, physically, how is this card? Um, like I said, uh, after the game, I was surprised by his stamina. I actually thought his stamina held up quite well for a player with just 84 stamina, so that is okay. But um, I do have to say, if I went into extra time, I probably would look to sub him off. Um, his strength of 63, as you can imagine, in-game wasn't great, and he did get dominated a bit by some players. But it was good to see that he had decent aggression because he did fight for the ball uh, a decent amount, which was quite nice. Overall, I thought the card was good, but uh, it wasn't as good as I hoped it would be, if I'm being honest. Very big fan of this guy's non-informed item, like I said at the start. So I was expecting big things from this card, and although it was good, it didn't quite hit my expectations, if I'm being fully honest. Still, 
as a card in Ultimate Team, I do think it's worth trying out. But um, I would wait for his price to drop because uh, I just can't see him maintaining his current price. So uh, definitely one to watch out for. In terms of Premier League uh, right wingers, where would I rank this card? Um, I don't think it's as good as any of the special Salah cards or that Bernardo Silva item. I also don't think it's as good as uh, the Daniel James Future Stars item either. So I'd say it's like just in like the top five bracket of Premier League uh, right wingers but um like at the very bottom of that top five if i'm being honest so uh yeah i don't think this card is worth pick up at its current price but uh, if it drops a bit more then i uh, maybe give it a go anyway guys those are my thoughts on the 87 rated shapeshifters lucas mora hope you enjoyed this video if you have drop a like rating on it in the comments let me know your thoughts on this card thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one